What's going on, my friends? In this video, we are going to walk through the steps that you take to send money to an inmate using Western Union. Now, I know the grind is something that I'm always talking about, making money. But we also talk about managing your money. And that means budgeting. And I hope this is something that you guys have been budgeting for. I know it's not usually something people think about um, and, is, and is a regular expense for most people. But there are a lot of us out there who do have a loved one who needs some support. And unfortunately for you and myself, we are the ones who have to dig into our hard earned uh, pocket, you know, our cash, our money and you know, help help out this this loved one that we do want to be there for. So in my particular case, like I said, I have someone who's close by in my life that I want to help support, help him out. This is my a sibling, a brother, my oldest brother. And what you'll do is come to westernunion.com. Uh, and when you come over here to pay bills, come to the pay bills tab, then you'll scroll down to pay inmate. So westernunion.com, step two is pay bills, step three is pay inmate. Now when you are here, this is where it's going to be kind of unique um, to each individual person out there who is watching this video, whoever that loved one is in your life that you want to support, that you want to help out. Maybe they made some mistakes in their life, maybe they made quite a few mistakes in their life, but you know they are a good person. They know, you know, they, they've done well in life too, but they've made some mistakes. And, um, unfortunately it happens to all of us. Um, and I just want to be that individual who's going to be there, uh, to help out, even though it's not going to be much, it's more than, you know, it could be, it could be $0, right? But I'm, I'm going to send something. Um, so what you want to do is when you come to here on the send money to an inmate, now you're going to do correctional facility. You're going to look for the facility that they are. Um, the person who sent me the instructions, um, didn't they, they wrote, I'm going to, the, the, I think this was the, the, the steps, the process was a little different before. So, um, this is a new updated version of steps that you're going to want to take for 2022. Um, and so here it says FBOP and this I believe is federal. Yeah. So federal borough of prison is what the FBOP stands for. So that's what I'm looking for. But you might have something different depending on where your loved one is, you know, locked up. Um, so we're going to do that. I'm going to type in $100. Again, this is something that you should have part of your budgeting. You know, maybe you start to really plan this out and you're like, okay, I know they're going to reach out to me every two weeks asking for $20, $50, $100, $500, $500 whatever it is. Start to budget this, put this into your monthly expenses, literally. And if it's not the case where it's someone you want to be there for them like that, then don't, don't do it. But this is something you absolutely want to make sure it's kind of part of your budgeting. So once you type in the amount of money that you are going to be sending them, then you'll add the inmate's first name. In my case, it's again, my oldest brother. Uh, his name is Seneca, S E N. E C C A. Um, you want to obviously add the last name, but then the inmate code. And I'm just making sure I'm actually I punched it in properly. Three one four nine eight zero four five. So this is these are the steps that you're going to take to send money to your loved one, whoever that is, whether it's in my case, an older brother who's made some mistakes. Um, uh, you know, maybe it's a younger brother. Maybe it's a sibling. I mean, um, a son, uh, a daughter, a mother, a father, an uncle, an aunt, whoever it is. Maybe it's not even a loved one in, in your family, but it's someone that you just grew up with who, you know, hey, they're struggling um, and they're, they're going to be in a tight place, a tough place for the next year, next six months, next five years, whatever it is. Any dollar like we don't realize the magnitude of how much our money is worth in, in, in when someone's locked up. And um, it, that's the main reason I continue to try to uh, be supportive of my brother and send him some money when I can. Um, again, this is literally something that I kind of have in my budget. Like I basically have an allocated amount of money where I'm like, okay, we're going to send, I know he's going to reach out or I know 
I, I would hate for me to be in his position. And if I was, I wish someone was look out, would look out for me. So even if it's $20 a week or a, a month, that's better than nothing. And for someone, like I said, who's locked up when you don't have anything, man, that goes a long way. So um, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Maybe you're like, oh, how much should I send? I don't want to send money. Like I said, anything is better than nothing, even if you're, if you're tight on cash. You know, and that's that's the thing. At time, there is a, a point where you have to say, I can't do it. And that's a video for another day because I really wanted to just show you guys the steps you take. But like I said, it, there is a point where you do have to also draw a line and say, OK, I'm, I'm tight. I'm, I'm tight. I'm already behind on bills or whatever it is. Um, you know, I don't want to fall behind. I can't send you anything this month. I can't send you anything this week. Whatever it is, you know, you have to draw that line at some point. But just remember, this is, you know, someone you love, someone you care about, someone who does need, need some support, some help. And they are reaching out to you. And if you can help, help, you know, but also depending on why they're locked up, this, that, and the other might influence your decision as to why you would or would not want to help, you know, and everyone's different. But I did want to show you guys the steps you take. And hey, if anyone out there wants to hook up my brother with a little bread, definitely feel free to, you know, copy the info here, send him a little bread. <laughs> I'm sure he would appreciate it. Um, but you know, the, the, on, on uh, being real with you guys, what I would appreciate is if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you found this video helpful, um, and also subscribe to the channel. I don't really make videos talking about sending money to an inmate, um, much, I mean, ever, but this is something a lot of us have to deal with. And it literally is something that might be preventing some of you and some of us from moving forward as much as we would like to, you know, and depending on how much you might send and how frequently you send that money could be going into your dividend portfolio into your growth portfolio which we have on this channel we cover every week $25 a week going into our growth and dividend portfolio and you can see the progress of that portfolio where it's one of them's up to like $1,700 we started with $100 so imagine having this $100 that we're putting into a growth portfolio and contributing $25 a week towards that instead of having to send money to a loved one that's locked up so it's tough it's tough it's tough it's tricky because it, it does add up and um like i said i understand if you have your your bills and whatnot and if you're thinking about that like hey you know what that's a good point you know but actually make sure you do it that's the thing too set up set it on autopilot actually make sure that money goes in there because some people will just say it and not actually do it and then they just still just sitting on money or wasting it on something else when it's not going towards that loved one or towards your future, towards retirement, or whatever it may be. So I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you guys found this video, you know, motivational, uh, encouraging, or just helpful at least so that you can send your loved one some money. Um, you know, maybe it's not a loved one. Maybe it's, you know, yeah, whatever. Like I said, <laughs> like this video, my friend, subscribe to the channel. And uh, you guys already know I got to keep it moving, but I'll see you in the next video. Peace.